So I want to show you guys some airfields that I've, or not airfields, but airsoft fields that I've been to in um, Florida and uh, and see what they look like in um, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 2020. So the first one is the first field I played at which was Combat Zone Sports in Merritt Island, Florida in Brevard County. Just a short drive away from Cocoa Beach and Port Canaveral, Cape Canaveral and uh, Kennedy Space Center and um, Daytona Beach is about an hour and a maybe an hour and a half north so, up the coast anyway. So, uh, this is Brevard County, that uh, line, that road going left to right that you see about in the center of the screen, that's uh, I-95, the highway, and uh, the road going left and right that you see in the center of the screen now, that's um, US-1. And this road should be 520, which I showed you uh, in another video. And uh, we can head across here. And this is... Uh, you can't really see the details of the park too much here. But uh, this is Cocoa Village. It's kind of an old timey area in Cocoa. Alright, so. <clears throat> And I don't know if if uh, the uh, models are really that low poly, be or if it's because I I'm only set to high settings, not ultra, because my system I guess won't handle ultra according to uh, Nvidia GeForce. So it's optimized for high. So, let's see. I can go this way. And then, uh, this is a big Baptist church in the area. A friend of mine, uh, termed it the uh, Temple of Doom. Even when I was a teenager, back in the 80s. There's an actual, like, uh, catwalk that crosses over the road. So I... It's kind of interesting. So, uh... And I showed you this field in another video, but it was nighttime, so you couldn't see it too well. So here it is. So this was a miniature golf course in the front that, uh, and this is where 
Florida had its first, uh, or Central Florida had its first indoor airsoft arena. And this is the store. And this is the speedball field. You can see some of these, uh, some of the triangles in the field. They're uh, inflatable barriers. And uh, usually the middle, I think it's right here, the middle one, uh, you would keep deflated when uh, players weren't actually using it because it can get hot and uh, the air inside will expand until I guess it'll it'll bust and then uh, this is actually like a pavilion uh, staging area for the players to get ready for the games and this is the same right here and you could go in the the trees here you just it looks like a solid wall because that's how the uh, radar imaging I guess sees it or satellite imaging AI whatever um, so this is uh, another field called trenches and uh, And you can't really see it too well, but in here is another field. Uh, right, not, not right there, no. That's water, I think, right there. Um, another field called uh, Vietnam, the Woods Ball Field. And there used to be, this is an opening to... Uh, another field. There used to be another field in here called uh, the Siege Field, which is a small CQB field. So that's where I was introduced to Airsoft. Actually, no, I take that back. There was another spot that I played Airsoft um, once. And uh, let's see if I can wonder how long it would take to go there. Let's see if I can increase the speed here. So we're over US-1 and we're headed south towards uh, Melbourne. And this is an, isn't actually an established field. It was just some unused property, I guess, that some local kids were using to play. I, I didn't really like the scene and the it was too close to like a look at that oh that's cool it was uh too close to like a health and wellness type clinic and This is, I think, the Pinita Causeway. I don't know if it's all the cars that cause that stuttering. Because there's not much in the way of... Um, 
Not much in the way of clouds in the sky right now. Need to find the airport. Okay, there's the airport. So I think they call this now Orlando Melbourne International or Airport. And uh, I've flown in and out of here a number of times in the course of my life. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, it's right about here, so, right back in here is the f where I played Airsoft for the first time, and uh, I think there's, uh, let me see if I could see it, yeah, see, there's residences right here, so I didn't really like the close proximity to the residence and then this is like a like a health and wellness type clinic so it's kind of worried about the cops being called on us because here we are using these realistic uh, replicas and uh, I think all these trees are cleared out now right in this right in this section so okay so now let's see um I think Trying to remember which field I went to next. I think it was Wasteland Ops in Marion County. Kirk Ensley. Ginley. Inverness. I'm thinking it's probably around here. This may be tricky to find, especially now that I've lost my bearings. Marion County Park of Dunlin. So I'm thinking. be this road here.
Park of Dunlin. Is that how it was spelled? Run of Dunlin Park. Where is this? Inverness. Citrus Springs. To head south, I think. Fernando. too far north. Is it Bushnell? Okay, so Dunlin's right about there. And now I should mark it of Marion. Oh, okay, so Dunlin's there, so I need to head west or east to that water there. Okay. slow. Let's try this. Uh, I keep... <sighs> Ocala. So what's this? Shady International? I'm thinking it's about here.
think it's some kind of truck stop. Okay, let's see. Market of Marion. Where's Shady International? Shady International. That's Shady. So where's their airport? Okay, so it looks like... Maybe have to head over this way. Oh, that's the theater. So, well, since we're here, this is Wayne's World of Paintball. And, uh, uh, here they hold, uh, mostly paintball, right? But, uh, they do hold airsoft games here. And, in fact, they hold a live-action uh, RPG version of uh, Fallout. Like, it's like a Fallout-themed, post-apocalyptic airsoft LARP. And, uh, can't really... I think this... Oh, yeah, this is the... This is the village. They have a fully mocked up village in here. Otherwise the trees are obscuring lots. Of, this is a fort. Like they've got a fob in here. And um, let me see if I can see any of the other features. Um, let's see if I can see that. Uh, not sure if that's the... Uh, and then um, there's a railroad. I think. Railroad? Yeah. So you might not be able to see much else in here. I'll try though. Yeah, it looks like the trees have pretty well got it covered. So there should be some openings in here, but there doesn't appear to be. So that's Wayne's World, and uh, so I think it's uh, the first weekend in November this event usually happens. I don't know if it will this year because of COVID, but uh, my if you look up Mind Game Productions, or it might even be Mind Games Productions, I always get that mixed up. I think it's Mind Game Productions. 
Um, that's the, they're the organizers of the event. And, uh, there are different factions and all kinds of freaky people dressed up in all kinds of weird get-ups. And, uh, it's a lot of fun. So, you know, you might want to think about making it down because the night before the game, the Friday night, um, the last two, excuse me, two years, the, the weather has been really cool, which is unusual for Florida. And, um, all the, the people participating, they camp out and all along this line here and back into here, um, you've just got all these different factions and swapping stories about, um, uh, uh, let me see, is it called? I think it's called Wasteland. The event, gosh, I'm getting old if I can't remember that. Um, but, uh, they, yeah, it's Wasteland. They, uh, you know, swap stories about what happened at, uh, previous Wasteland events. And, uh, it's a pretty, pretty fun scene. And I recognize the spot by the, um, uh, drive-in over here. Because I'm not sure if anybody actually uses this drive-in, but it's, you don't see drive-ins much anymore, so it's something that's easy to see from the uh, from the road and uh, this is just south of Ocala Wayne's World of Paintball and then if you fly a bit this way like so many lights it take me a bit to find it it should be pretty obvious because of the uh, construction of the place. I don't think that's it. Oh, that's right. The the road divides. It's a bit more distance to, to get to Wayne's World than the Market of Marion. Um, I don't think that's it. Pretty sure that's not it. I mean, it should stick out if it's modeled correctly by the AI. Uh, I'm getting a little nervous, though. I think that, yeah, I've got to go through the city a bit here. And I think I stay... I think I stay with this road. And, uh... I believe this is it. So, uh, you enter here. Market of Marion. It's got signs. This is, I think, one of the signs right there and uh, you follow the drive and then the drive circles this way and takes you around and you keep going and then you stop right here and that's the pavilion for Wasteland Ops and Wasteland Ops. This is also the site of Jeep Toberfest. And Jeeps come out here and they use these uh, concrete um, obstacles to test out the abilities of their vehicles and their own driving abilities. So you've got these little dirt roads where the Jeeps are driving around. But uh, this is some of the most three dimensional terrain. I, w I would call it the most three-dimensional field in Florida, airsoft field, because uh, most of Florida is very flat, but this, um, 
this rises up and then you have uh, there was what they called a goat village up here we called it Benghazi we did a little Benghazi scenario there and uh, down here you can't really see it but you've got tall pine trees and then there's a steep climb up to this plateau up here so it makes for a nice D-Day scenario where lots of players are taking up defensive positions up here and then firing down on the players trying to come up the steep slope and uh, the way the as you can see there's a another railroad here so the the property kind of um, is pie shaped a little so it gets real narrow at this end but uh, we had a really excellent um, game of infection once where um, there were just a few players who were infected and, it, and if they shot you you had to go to their side which was this side and uh, and then all the other players were here trying to defend themselves but as more and more players got infected it got down to just a few players holding out against this mob of enemy airsoft players it was a really good game so this is definitely a, a field to check out in um, Florida if you haven't already um, and what's uh, one nice thing about this now combat zone sports when it was in Merritt Island which it recently moved it was right near the mall so they had uh, like a food court nearby and um, if you wanted to eat there lots of restaurants nearby um, Wasteland Ops has restaurants um, up going north up the road towards that city I passed through lots of restaurants there but um, there are a number of eating places here in the flea market this is the market of Marion and it looks like this is updated enough that they have the rubble from the fire they had a fire here recently, unfortunately. Wait a second, did the did the fire get over here too? That would suck if it did. Anyway, um and they've got like a large uh um you know facilities for relieving yourself and uh shops so you know if you're like a teenager or something or if your wife isn't interested in playing um, you could come here play and then your wife can shop in the flea market and spend the day there and also there's a um, I think right about here there's an RC racetrack RC car racetrack yeah see it little uh, little roads in there it's pretty amazing that um, that's captured I didn't uh, huh so normally you you uh, I guess you could leave that way but the main yeah I guess you enter through here and then you exit through here okay so now if you live in like the Deland or Ocala area you're sitting pretty as far as airsoft concerns is concerned because you've got like three fields nearby and uh, I'll show you the next one it may take me a little while to get there it's definitely not where that roundabout is and golly is it this hmm 
I'll try following this. No, I'm going to say that's not it. Is it this? This looks like it could be it. So you take this road and it'll take you towards the land. This uh this kind of looks familiar. I think there was a, a house right there. Yeah, and there's the... But this is a really pretty drive. And an exciting drive, too. Some uh, serious turns in here. Like, if someone's not being careful, someone could really get hurt on this drive. So it's about, a, I think, a 45-minute drive um, once you get on this road. So, say, maybe an hour from Wasteland Ops to Raptor Airsoft Field. See what I mean with these turns? Ooh, hoo, hoo. I think they may have over-exaggerated these buildings right here. I could be wrong. Yeah, this... Remember this turn. Wasn't there a... Uh, I think this is like a fire station or something right there. So we're pretty much cutting across Florida right now. Oh yeah, that's always a nice view going by this. Is this where the horsey ranch is? No, maybe not. There's this one place where they had the, like this lone horse in the yard. recognizing this bit too much, but then I only see what I see from the road when I go through here. Ooh, some weather. 
Oh yeah. This makes it challenging. Now I'll know when I've gone too far, but I don't really want to go too far. This is going to ruin my recording if I, um, is it through here? Huh. The road terminates. Not sure if this is the place. Head back to the road. I don't like this fog. I think I can do something about it. Weather, day settings, live. How do I change this? Clear skies. Thank you. That's nice. Now that, that might be the spot, but I don't think there's a turn. And who's in the road? This. I don't know. I don't remember that uh, that many bends in this road. I need to get back to the main road. Or rather, I don't remember that many bends in the road that I intend to get on. Which... I'll keep going. Yes, yes. Close. What's this? No. That might be it. I do believe this is it. Let me get my bearings here. Yes, this is it. So this is Raptor Airsoft Field. And see it goes I think this is the corner of it. So it goes in that that direction center of the screen. And then along this, and back in here, and then farther back, and I think to here. Yeah. And then... Oh, 
oh no, right to here. This is the southern border looking in that direction. And then Yeah, and this is what I call a plateau. It's the high, higher elevation of the property. And we used to call this uh, seahorse lake or pond. And uh, we had a um, mill sim here, a couple of them called Op uh, Conflict Vietnam. And the Viet Cong base, or Viet North Vietnamese base, was located right, right about here. And uh, because the border of the property is going this way, and then the playable area was going this way, the border, um, they could only come around to our base through this little narrow area, or this little narrow area here because this was all water so it was very easy to, to uh, defend that base and um, let's see uh, so and this is another bottleneck where lots of firefights happen at Mill Sims is right here because of uh, these bodies of water. And this is the owner's house. And uh, I took a shower out here once he had water set up. And um, cause this is, um, this was like their first playable field, I believe. And uh, it gets pretty green, and uh, during the like spring and summer, fall, and then during the winter, it uh, the greenery dies out, and um, you get more sand visible. And then this is an area called archery. Because there are archery lanes. You see these white lines in here? Those are archery lanes. And uh, so I call that the archery field. And that's a really nice green shady area to play in. And then uh, this, um, they've turned this recently in the last year, I think, into a playable area. Um, I think they call this the trench warfare field or embassy or something like that. And, uh, let's see, um, so, uh, they recently, uh, well, last, um, December, they had a top tier event for Florida, top tier airsoft meal. Milsim called uh, Operation Northern Watch, and DV-8 brought out um, one of its armored vehicles and a couple Humvees, and uh, uh, some people had their POVs mocked up into, uh, like, technicals, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But you can really get some exercise playing out here. So that's Raptor Airsoft Field, and uh, let's see, Lakeland, Tactical Airsoft Compound, let's see, Tactical Airsoft Compound, will it know where it is? Yeah does, right? This is Lakeland. Yep, Lakeland. So, um, I should be able to find that. Next to this 
body of water just east east of Bonnie Lake. So let's go to Lakeland. Lake Parker. Bonnie Lake is south of Lake Parker. And uh, main menu. Let's see. Lakeland. This cloud cover doesn't make it hard to find. Burntwood Ranch. Okay, so Burntwood Ranch. Lakeland? Oh, that's like Plant City. Isn't Lakeland is kind of down here, isn't it? Lithia? Plant City, Lakeland. Burntwood Ranch. So I need to head south this south, I hope. What's this? Flanders Field? Florida? Oh, that's way up there. And Lakeland Linder International Airport. That's what I need to look for.
Oh, yeah. There it is. I recognize it. That uh, lake with the, like, bulb sticking out in it. Is there an option for a compass? Nav log. Uh, just give me a compass. All right, so Bonnie Lake and Tactical hair soft. Ah, so yeah, just very east of Bonnie Lake. right here so uh, yeah the way you enter this place is there's a there's like a gate here I believe and then you have to wait for them to open that gate up and then you drive back here and then uh, I think to right about here and then you park your car and then there's another gate right here and then this is the uh, like staging area right here I believe and then this is the game area and it's got this little uh, canal running through it and Hmm, did they move the conexes? There used to be some blue conexes out here, which made for nice cover. And, uh, I didn't know there was water there. Well, that's crazy. Um, this is a bunch of concrete rubble here. And you've got, like, a bus right here. I think there's an ambulance or something here. And, uh, there's a, or there was, I don't see it here too well. Maybe this is it right here. Like a little building, CQB building. And then you got these mounds, hills here. And, uh, big one right here. And then more play area. And strangely, this part of the field doesn't seem to see much action. I've, I've never really played much at this end. It always seems to focus from here to the other side. So this is Tactical Airsoft Compound. And, uh... They run some pretty tight games there, or, or the, they did when I've been there. And uh, but it's kind of like a like you maybe you show up, and then if they like you, you can keep coming. But uh, if they don't, they it's their club, so they don't really want you around if they don't like you. So. Just be on your best behavior while you're there. So that's Tactical Airsoft Compound. And, uh... Let's see. Immokalee. Man, I don't know. There's something about this 
user interface that is not intuitive. When I click general, I'm thinking I need to go to the world map, but I hit escape and it automatically assumes I want options. So I have to go down here to get the main, to the main menu. That's that's kind of strange to me. So Immokalee, Mokalee, Mokalee Regional. Okay, so Mockley Regional. Mockley Regional Airport is there. And now, where is This might be a trick to find. Let's see. Okay, so Immokalee Regional is right there, and I want uh, Prison Immokalee, Prison near Immokalee, Florida. I think that's the one I wanted. I want a decommissioned prison. That's not it. Let's try something else.
It should be easier to find. Hmm. Is it? God, I forgot the name of the... No... That's right, Operation Homeland. <laughs> Overwatch. Vince Home Rules. Google. Operation Overwatch held at training facility. Wainwright Drive. That's interesting. Immokalee, Florida. Training Grounds Facility. Training grounds. Oh, there we go. Yes, this is it. Okay, so now I got an idea what I'm looking for. This is old well, and this is Wainwright, and this is a Lockley, so bend and then a left turn.
So I've got water there, a grid, and then head east. Sorry this is taking so long. And then where is a Mockley Regional? It was that right angle looking thing right there. Okay, so just head south and then take a left. I can do that. Set as departure. Set as arrival, fly. Supposed to be right here, isn't it? There's the grid. get lost so quickly. Oh, I have to go uh, quite a bit farther. So this way. Henry Correctional Institution. Wonder if that's the old name. No, this is the site here. Boy, it looks tiny from way up in the air. That doesn't look quite right. So, <laughs> and this, that. Now, this, this is strange. 
this is strange. This makes it look like the scale is off on this world. If that's a doorway... No, no. This is, this is disturbing. Because this tells me that the scale is off on this world. Because I've seen the same thing when I've been trying to uh, create uh, Ar um, Raptor Airsoft Field in Arma 3. This building should be much larger than this. I mean, how is that possible? I mean, okay, so maybe it's not the scale of the world, but it's the scale then of the models. That would mean that the, the windows and the doorways are far too large. And that's kind of the impression I got at Fort Benjamin Harrison, too. Anyway, the, imagine much larger buildings and this and in fact there are buildings in the center here or should be wait a second wait a second here is there not more down this way no right Hmm. Okay, so that's just really kind of bizarre. I feel like I'm missing something here. Is this just really old data? Let's take a look at it again here. Yeah, this is... Wait a second, the arrangement of the buildings doesn't look right there. Hmm, I'm confused. I don't, uh, wait up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so just go around the bend. That's nuts. <clears throat> okay, so this looks like the barracks area at uh, Altair. That's the name, Altair Training Grounds. At least that was the name before. And this is where Doomsday Airsoft would would hold the top tier. Um, Airsoft Milsim in Florida called Operation Overwatch. And, uh, yes, now see these buildings. Now that's kind of crazy, man. L okay, look at the scale of this building and the size of the windows, and then compare it to that 
house back there. And this is a large building. It's a, pr a prison, multi-story prison wing. I think uh, it's got, actually got two stories. Well, uh, I think some of these buildings do have a third story, though. But, uh, yeah, yeah, this is it. Interesting. Now over here, these are pavilions, actually. Concrete pavilions. So, uh, one side would stage here. That's where their base would be. And then the other side would stage in the pavilions here. And uh, the game would begin. Um, there would be a formation. Uh, I forget whether the formation was here on the ground, the game grounds, or back at the barracks. Golly. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, this is a big prison complex with support buildings. And you had jail cells. And, uh... The first uh, Overwatch I went to, we had to uh, make sure I got this right. Yeah, we had to he head out this way. <sighs> and, uh, Naturally, this was like a bottleneck, because the opposing teams are running out here to get to this point, too. And uh, someone got up on the roof and uh, sniped me from the roof. And the roof was supposed to be out of play, but they got up there and then got a talking to from the uh, organizers. But, uh... This is a really popular site in Airsoft in Florida. People come from uh, Puerto Rico and... Um, other states because uh, one of the attractions is there's a, a little bird helicopter or comparable like a Hughes 500 and um, with benches on the side and you can um, get tickets to ride on the benches and then shoot down on the players on the uh, on, in this gaming area so, if that interests you, Doomsday Airsoft um, Operation Overwatch. Um, they were running events called Operation Northern Watch. I'm not sure if that's going to continue. Um, and then there was another event that I'm not sure whether it will continue. Uh, and they've been ho holding that at Wayne's World of Paintball. And that was called Operation Homeland. And I see the, the lights just came on. In these buildings. Huh. That's interesting. But there's, there's nobody there, trust me. What's going on in that room? Somebody's watching TV? Either that or they're having a little rave. Wow. Good job, Microsoft. Wait, did I just see a light go off or come on? Yeah, one just came on. Wow. Wow, Microsoft. That's pretty awesome. Good job. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the sun is setting. And, um... Maybe we'll just enjoy this sunset for a while. Sorry it took me so long to find that, but it's kind of out in the boonies. <laughs> and, uh... 
when you're driving there, it feels like it too. Wow, the sun even like distorts as it sets. Very impressive. Reminds me of uh, Far Cry uh, 2, how the sun looked as it set in that game. There's some really brilliant uh, sunsets in Far Cry 2 and sunrises. I'm not so sure about Far Cry 3. I don't remember any really impressive scenes like that in Far Cry 3. Oh, I know. I um, wanted to show you something. Um, Melbourne, I guess. Melbourne. Melbourne Airport, Melbourne International, Melbourne. Guess it's already dark here. Writer guy. Let's see, this is. So it'll be. around here, maybe? Departure. It's arrival. Fly. Rockledge, so this is probably 520. And, uh, I believe this is my, yeah, this is my old Vovel mechanic here. It was, it was like you couldn't give this guy money. He would 
fix your vehicle for like nothing and <laughs> I tried to like throw money at this guy and he, he you know you'd walk away from it and it would cost you like $75 or something to fix your vehicle his name was uh, Reggie I'm not sure if he's still there but um, I believe this is the new uh, Combat Zone Sports. So just off of 520 and uh, I think this is called Range Road. Let me see. Who is that up there? Who is that guy? I can't click on him, huh? Let me see. Range Road, Co oh, Round Road, Coco, Florida. Yeah, there's Combat Zone Sports, Paintball, and Airsoft. And uh, here's Range Road. And yep, there's the Full Full Mechanic, Sand Drift Aikido. Wait a second. Sand Drift Aikido. That's not right. Here's the Volvo mechanic. I don't know if it even says anything about him here. Coco West. Hmm. Huh. Wonder if he's still open. So, uh, Range Road. Next to Brevard Marine Service. Combat Zone, Sports, Paintball, and Airsoft. Now, the field... I'm not sure where the field is. If this is the field here... Um, anyway, if you get to the store, they'll tell you where the field is, but um, they're still getting permits for the new field. So, uh, it's in transition right now, but at least now you know where you can go to actually uh, check out airsoft guns before you buy and uh, usually um, when he's got the fields going um, Mike will give you a deal like on uh, you know you could play for however many days you know after you make like a full airsoft rifle purchase so, uh, but you'd have to ask him about that. I don't really have the authority to extend that deal to you, so. And that's in, uh, Cocoa, Florida, on the north side. Rockledge is typ typically on the south side of 520. And, um, and that's the same 520 that goes right out to Cocoa Beach and Ronchon Surf Shop right past uh, Cape Canaveral Hospital. And uh, there's a Five Guys on Merritt Island, too. The Crying Monk? Oh, no, I've never been there. That sounds interesting. A restaurant called The Crying Monk. Is that Asian? Hmm. Okay, so that's going to be my broadcast. Uh... Let's take another look here. Mm.